guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a first impression slash review on Naughty Hair Care's Wave Hello line. Their Wave Hello line is made for curly wavy hair. Quick disclaimer, these products were sent to me for consideration, but anything that is uttered out of my mouth in this video is of my own coming and my own opinion. Just, just to put that out there. I've taken two washes with these products. Pretty much did the same thing. I was just trying to look for consistency in the product and trying to see if everything performed the same and everything pretty much did with the exception of one product, but we will get into that in a little bit. Basically, I just did my normal routine, but replaced all the products I typically use with these products. So if you're looking for my routine, I will link it above and you guys can check that out. So I have three products to go through with you guys, a shampoo, conditioner, and a curling cream. We are going to break down each product and starting off with the conditioner. So the conditioner does not have a ton of slip to it, so the first time I washed with it, I tried to use it as a detangling product before I shampooed my hair. I was not necessarily successful with that, and I spent a long time trying to get up tangles. It does not have a ton of slip to it, but the product is Curly Girl approved. It does have some alcohols in it, but those are Curly Girl approved. I would say this product is geared towards someone with hair that is super duper sensitive to moisture and needs something that will not overly moisturize their hair. My hair needs moisture, especially during these drier months. My hair tends to fall a bit flat if I don't have some moisture in it. So in summary, it is Curly Girl approved. It does not have a ton of slip to it. And it is not very moisturizing. I Moving on to the shampoo. So I just washed my hair normally with this like I usually do. I focused it on the top of my roots and then when I was rinsing it out, let the excess run through the ends of my hair and just did that normal. This is Curly Girl approved with caution. It does have some clarifying agents in it. Dry out your hair, especially if you're using this for every single wash. If you have finer hair like me, I would not recommend using this for every single wash. I think I would probably alternate with my typical shampoo and every other wash maybe use this especially if you like me have low porosity hair and products just sit on top of your hair and build up this is a really good mild clarifying wash you know it's not directly advertises that it does clarify your hair and it will leave you feeling a little bit dry which again when i use the conditioner in combination with it it did leave my hair feeling a little bit dry i would probably use this in combination with a much thicker conditioner maybe even like a deep conditioner as an afterwards treatment <laughs> probably recommend using the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus conditioner where that is not quite as thick as a deep conditioner but it does have a lot of slip to it and it is very hydrating because this will leave your hair a bit dry and it does have a little squeaky clean sensation but i really did like this and i probably will continue to use this but i will not use it for an everyday wash it will be kind of like i alter between another shampoo like i probably will use my low poo my diva curl one wash three two days later maybe use this if i used an especially heavy gel or curling cream just to make sure i am not weighing down my hair with product and maybe even conditioner buildup. So in summary, it is Curly Girl approved with caution. It is really good for a mild clarifying wash. If you have thin, fine hair with a bit of a more wavy curly texture, I would say alternate. And if you have thicker hair with thicker curls, bigger curls, I would totally recommend this for an every wash. But again, Curly Girl approved with caution, so keep that in mind. Okay, and so for the last product, we are going to go through the Wave Hello Curl Defining Cream. This is probably my favorite product out of the entire line. I really, really love this. I have some things I need to point out, especially if you have thinner curly hair. This is Curly Girl English, what is it? This is Curly Girl Approved. I just can't speak, oh my gosh. It is Curly it is Curly Girl Approved. It is Curly Girl Approved, so that is awesome and great. My only gripe with this is not necessarily a problem with the product, but just how I applied it the first time around. As you will see, I applied so much on there. Like you can see where there's just kind of clumps of it left there. And even after I kind of scrunched my hair with a towel, it was still way too much on my hair and it did weigh down my top bits. I think this was an awesome product. My only thing is, especially if you have 
thinner curly hair and you have a bit of more of a wave, I would say use use about maybe a dime amount on each side of your head. This has a very thick texture, which is why when I originally anticipated putting it on, I put it on so much because I did not think it was going to be so thick. My method to applying it was I took back my top layers and really just focused it on my bottom bits and whatever was left on my hands I scrunched the top bits of my hair with and out of the entire line my least favorite product would probably be the conditioner I probably will not use this again unless I combine it with something a bit thicker like I said the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Conditioner I could probably combine this with that but I also could just as easily use the Hibiscus and Coconut Conditioner by itself um, this is probably the most forgettable product out of the line it is probably geared towards someone who is very moisture sensitive. I'm not personally right now in this time of the season. Um, I might try this again in the warmer months where it's a bit more humid, but right now in these dry winter months, it's just not doing anything for me. But if you have much thicker hair and you have very moisture sensitive hair and you're not looking for something with a ton of slip, this would be great for you. And my favorite product out of the line would probably definitely be the Curl Defining Cream. It does not have a ton of hold to it, which is kind of the look I'm going for right now. I want to be a little bit more relaxed. It was great for my hair type personally. You just have to be very, you just have to be very cautious with how much you use. And I also really did love the shampoo as well, but it probably will be something I alternate between, not necessarily use it for an everyday wash. The scent of it is not strong at all. If you're sensitive to smell, it is not a very strong scent to any of them. They all kind of are synonymous in their scent. It's a very light floral scent. The entire line retails for $9.99 online. And if you guys are interested in trying out the line yourself, I do have a discount code. If you are going to go to NaughtyHairCare.com and enter the code Joanna25, you will get 25% off your order. And I think that is pretty darn awesome. So thank you to Naughty Hair Care for sending me these products for the consideration. That is so sweet and awesome of you guys. So that is the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Next video. Yeah.